The, uh, one of the benefits of wearing shoes, um, well, let me first talk about the hookworm. The hookworm's life cycle. Uh, the hookworm lives in the intestines of, of animals and uh, releases its larva, which come out with, uh, when the animals defecate, and then lie on the ground, and then as you walk around barefoot, um, you uh, pick up the hookworm and cuts on your feet, which travels through your bloodstream and somehow gets back into the intestines where it grows to full size and releases more larva. So one of the benefits of wearing shoes is that you don't get hookworm. Or is it a benefit? It turns out that people who have hookworms have much lower incidences of uh, all sorts of autoimmune diseases like MS, allergies, uh, um, diabetes, uh, asthma, um, eczema, any allergies you can you care to name, or uh, even hypertension can be uh, related to autoimmune problems. So, uh, in honor of uh, a barefoot day, I wrote this poem. <laughs> if your immune system attacks you, MS allergies, asthma, distract you, well, the lowly hookworm down immunity turns. Barefoot walks through some shit may stop at <laughs> um, Let's see. Somebody was mentioning Nantucket. You can have all the gold in this bucket if you make a clean rhyme with Nantucket. <laughs> After two days of thought, no good rhyme had I brought, so I finally just wrote down <laughs> um, I wrote this on the occasion of a 50th wedding, wedding anniversary for some people I knew. Um, I gave it to them very quietly and they chose not to read it to their children. <laughs> uh, um, In cleaning out an attic, I came upon a note, preserved there by her sweetheart, the words that she had wrote. Now time has passed since authorship, five decades more or less, which makes me think it probable I had hazarded now to guess. I think she really meant it. I think that it was true. The words she wrote in that love note, I love sleeping with you. <laughs> um, ah. I'm very often late for these events, so here's my late haiku. I was late because I always liked where I am. Now I'm here with you. <laughs> uh, lots of talk about economic regulation. I wrote this poem about Enron. From when of lies the press did speak, their downfall took about a week. There is no court can punish sin as quick as market discipline. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, everybody was bemoaning the loss of our campaign finance laws as they pertain to corporations. As a, as a libertarian who's been involved in trying to finance the libertarian party, not with my own money, which I don't have very much of, but um, uh, setting up mechanisms that enable the, the parties, the national party and the state party to cooperate. We, we've had a lot of obstacles thrown in our way. Every time it looked like we were getting successful, the campaign finance laws would change to make it harder for us to, make, to raise money somehow. It didn't seem to stop the major parties. So um, the campaign finance laws, uh, some of which were just overturned by the Supreme Court, are not near and dear to us. And here's a poem I wrote about those. Keep up those campaign finance laws. Long have they waved on high. And many, many multi-millionaires are congressmen thereby. The poor can't win elections now at just one grand per donor, nor meet arcane reporting codes designed to spoil their honor. The power to make candidates has shifted to the press, conglomerated media whose words are unsuppressed. Establishmented parties, soft money for the fray, dictate who wins, and to be sure, it won't be renegades. Public financing, they all cry, will solve these thorny problems. Let taxpayers support these birds who are lining up to rob them. But do you think incumbents, when they're allocating money, 
won't somehow advantage themselves with rules arcane and funny? And is it fair to make us pay for those whose views we hate while making it a crime to pay to help our candidate? Perhaps it's wise to regulate those who are now in power, lest they help all their donors, our taxes, to devour. But what about the challengers, as yet they have no clout. They take no public salary, nor public funds give out. Only ideas, only their deeds, only the words they shout. Why can't I buy a megaphone to help their words get out? Because of campaign finance laws, which so far have and will serve to keep those incumbents as kings upon the hill. And uh, I guess that's uh, ah, one more one more little right here. A sex maniac with a brain, with her I'd have liked to remain. The sex part was great, I'd be there to this date, but the maniac part was insane. <laughs>